Hello and welcome, my name is Simon and we are the Whales of Wall Street and today we're going to do a quick update on XDC and it's 30% plus gains today in the less than 24 hours. So let's go straight to the browser and see what bullish news we can find as to why this might be. So as you can see on this four hour chart today we've had some fantastic gains even on the daily as well. So we've kind of broken out of that sort of five, six cent barrier up to the seven and a half pushing towards eight. Who knows, we might get back to the old 10 cents or higher as uh, it did previously when actually I think around this sort of time was when it launched on Qcoin, if I remember correctly. So we've had a bit of suppression like the rest of the market over over the last month or so, but it's looking really bullish in the, in the last day or so. So why is that? Well, there's been a couple of updates to push out here. So there's some trials with some CBDCs, so central banking uh, digital currencies, uh, looking like it's something to do in the region of Singapore. So this is kind of really looking at um, experimenting CBDCs on, on various platforms using the, the API infrastructure. Uh, for that as well. Utilizing R3, which we spoke about in a previous video. Uh, again, do take a look at that and I will, I promise, do a video very soon, hopefully this week on R3 and Corda and its integration with Zinfin. I will get it right today. I have been reminded on comments in the previous video calling it Xinfin, which is absolutely shocking for me. I do apologize. Uh, is pronounced Zinfin apparently. So let's get that correct. So that's some fantastic news. It was actually yesterday. So that perhaps it explains the uh, yesterday's movement upwards. And then today we've got a couple of things um, in terms of a stalk um, project going on at the moment, partnerships. But another key thing really is another exchange launch uh, announced today on Bitcoin.com. So in my opinion, these two or three bits of information are probably what's driving this up. Um, again, I still think this is extremely undervalued compared to what it will be in the future based on, on what we've looked at already and what is to come. Um, for me, it's just uh, one, of, one of my main projects, in, in my opinion, um, as, as you guys know in, in one of the previous videos, it's one of my top priority investments. It's not financial advice. It's just from my own personal research, and I will emphasize that. Do your own research on any of these projects, on any of the projects that you're invested in. You know, it will really help you uh, determine whether you're making the right moves or not. But me, XDC, what they're doing with the R3 and the Corda and all these other announcements, all the exchanges, I'm just waiting for the day that this launches back onto something like Binance. Um, you know, it's already joined Qcoin, which is one of the main players in the, in terms of exchanges as well. So, you know, keep an eye on this. Keep looking at the news coming out. They've had the Flare Finance, uh, sorry, um, Zinfin Finance Flare partnership recently as well. So there's lots of really good movement on this for sure. Uh, it's still under the radar, in my opinion. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's marketing. I don't know. Um, I like to think they do a good job. Um, they've certainly followed me on Twitter, which is fantastic. Um, so, you know, again, keep an eye on their social media platforms for any up updates and things like that. But yeah, for me, it's totally under the radar. Not many uh, YouTubers out there pushing it. Maybe they don't have bags of it. I don't know. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers do push things a lot more when they do have big bags of it. That's not suggesting that I'm doing that right now. Um, I just like the project, absolutely in love with it. Um, and I do think this is going to be a massive player in enterprise. And because of the hybrid chain that it's developing with Zimfin, um, you know, it's looking after the consumer and the enterprise market at the same time. I couldn't speak more highly of this uh, other than now to just say please like and subscribe to the channel guys. Uh, leave a comment below what are your projections or predictions that you think for, for XDC moving forward. Um, and what are you looking forward to the most with this particular project? Please do leave that in the comments. Always read them. Always try and like them as much as I can and, and share some comments with you guys as well. And make sure you press the little bell next to the subscribe button as well. That'll make sure that you get all the latest updates from us as we put out the videos um, as and when we do. So other than that, guys, 
Hope you found it a bit interesting. Again, do a bit of research yourselves, get into more information, and we'll see you on the moon. Thanks, guys.